Hello, and welcome to part 12 of the Rediscovering Wellness series, a part of the Four Wing Balance Library. Today, we're going to be talking about SAS food or restaurant type eating or eating on the go. So we'll talk about some healthy tips and tricks that you can use when you're not eating at home. So why does this even matter? Canadians are eating more food outside the home. This is not limited to sit down restaurants, but can also include caterers, food trucks, coffee shops, grocery stores, snack bars and vending machines, cafeterias and canteens. When we eat out regularly, it can become a part of our overall eating habits. This can potentially negatively impact both our overall health and our wallet. Choices that are available when eating out are often more expensive, highly processed and provide lower opportunities for consumption of veggies, fruit and whole grains. Consuming foods from food establishments can increase our intake of sodium, sugars, and saturated fat. Eating too much of these types of foods can increase our risk of chronic diseases such as heart disease, type 2 diabetes, and some types of cancer. Our first part is what we should consider before we go eat out somewhere other than our home. Try to plan ahead so you can reduce temptations from coffee shops, fast food outlets, or vending machines. Carry snacks and a reusable water bottle instead of buying them when you're out. If the reason is because you're celebrating or socializing with friends, family or coworkers, consider other options like going for a hike together, organizing a games night, or cooking together at home. Decide whether the meal or snack you're about to have is going to be healthy or not. Decide where you're going to eat. Are you going to grab a ready-made meal at the grocery store, run through the drive through or fast food establishment, or go to a sit-down restaurant? Decide how much you're going to eat. So is this going to be a full meal or is it a snack? Make a commitment to eat slowly so that you don't overeat. It's recommended to avoid all you can eat buffets as they often lead us to eating more because of their availability, the quantity and the lack of time between servings. Be informed about what will be available to you before you go. So you can read the menu or look at online nutrition facts tables to decide what the best options are for you based on your preferences, dietary restrictions and other needs. You are more likely to choose unhealthy options when you're hungry and distracted at the restaurant. Our senses, especially our taste and smell, can make sticking to a loose plan more difficult. So deciding what you'll eat before you arrive can reduce our snap decisions. Next, we're gonna talk about managing portion sizes. Portion sizes in restaurants and food establishments are usually larger than what you would normally have at home. This can be on an even grander scale when you're visiting another country. First, you can ask for help for a half portion or the appetizer portion. You could also share a large meal with a friend. When you order, ask for a takeout container and immediately pack up half of the meal to take home. Do something similar when you order delivery and divide food into portions immediately. Although supersized meal combinations may seem like a good deal, they're often high in fat, calories, sugar, and or sodium. So we want to refrain from supersizing or choosing the extra large option. Next is making healthier choices. So how can we make healthier choices when eating out? Amp up your veggie intake by asking for extra veggie on food items such as wraps, burgers, pizza, or sandwiches. Order a side of leafy green salad or cooked veggies instead of fries. Gear up whole grains by looking for dishes that are made with whole grains. Examples include quinoa, brown rice, barley, and oats. Switch to whole wheat or whole grain buns, pasta, pizza, crust, or tortillas. They often have this option, but the automatic choice would be the white um, bun or pasta or pizza. So you can ask for, for if they have a whole grain or a whole wheat variety. Reduce sodium. Restaurant food generally has higher amounts of sodium, which can contribute to a high intake of sodium in our diets. Choose fewer foods that have been smoked or made with sauces such as soy or teriyaki. Instead of adding salt, try flavoring your food with lemon or pepper. You can also ask for your meal to be prepared without salt or without MSG. Sauces, condiments, and dressings and spreads can increase your fat and sodium consumption. We can reduce that consumption by asking for these to be brought with your meal on the side. You can also then you can then just use enough just to add some flavor versus drowning your food in that sauce or spread or condiment. So as an example of a common condiment that is shown in, uh, in restaurants, let's look at some salad dressings. 
So all cell adjusting listed, listed on this table are regular variety. So when we look at the fat content, Caesar salad dressing has the highest fat content of 25.8 grams of fat per 45 milliliters of dressing. Blue trees dressing has the highest saturated fat content with 4.62 grams of saturated fat per 45 milliliters of dressing. The largest amount of sodium comes in with our Italian dressing at 738 milligrams of sodium per 50, 45 milliliters of dressing. Now remember that your dressing choice is actually going to be based on your taste preferences and what nutrient may be your, more of a concern to you. Vinaigrettes tend to have less fat as noted in the balsamic vinaigrette that's listed here with 10.5 grams of overall fat and 1.5 grams of saturated fat per 45 milliliters of dressing. So again, this is a really great condiment to ask for, to be on the side so that you can use just enough to add some flavor and what's your, based on your preference. Ask your waiter how your food is cooked and prepared. So we're going to look for food made using healthier cooking methods such as steaming, grilling, roasting, or poaching. We want to reduce our consumption of foods that have been pan fried, generally fried, or, are, or the crispy or crunchy options. Be mindful. Mindful eating helps us to make conscious choices about what we eat and drink by giving our full attention to the process of eating. Enjoy the scents, tastes, and textures of your meal or snack. Be aware of your thoughts and feelings while eating without judgment. Water is the recommended drink of choice for hydration. Instead of asking for sugary drinks like pop, iced tea, or juice, ask for water with your meal. If you're not really super interested in plain water, Ask for sparkling water with a lemon or lime wedge. If you consume alcohol, limit your consumption and follow Canada's lowest drinking guidelines. We're going to take a quick look at some simple food swaps that you can do at the restaurant. So instead of cheese or Alfredo type sauces, try a tomato sauce. Instead of cake for dessert, we can try a fruit cup. Instead of pop, we can try sparkling water. Instead of fries, let's order a baked potato. So if you're interested in learning more about our nutritional wellness, um, then check out the rest of our Rediscovering Wellness series. Again, this is a 13-part series that's part of the Four Wing Balance Library.